Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the NAF uh, Weekender Final. This was the tournament we made with uh, 10, 10 people with a Swiss, a Swiss, uh, a Swiss tournament, and then a cut to the top four. I did not make the cut four, the, the, the cut for the top four, um, and this is the final. It ended up being Vulpes and Coulter versus Oriolensis, and. Uh, <laughs> I think Ori Lenses keeps saying receive instead of kick. <laughs> yeah, so Ori Lenses would have kicked. As it happened, Volpe's won the toss and chose to receive. And when I, when we were watching this live, we didn't see who, who had won the toss, but I assumed it was uh, Ori Lenses because I thought Ori Lenses would have chosen a kick, and uh, he, has, he has got there in the end, <laughs> and he would have chosen a kick. Um, as far as team skills it was 1100 for your team tier one teams got six normals and what else a tier one so you went with wrestle um leader block sidestep tackle and strip um humans being tier two got seven normals and a double double spent block on the ogre uh seven normals two blocked up catchers a blocked up thrower a couple of guards a tackler and a mighty blower so there you go. I think this was a slight uh, misposition on the LOS from Vulpes because he could have had a 3D with the Ogre um, if the Mighty Blood had been here and then the Garb would have been there and stuff. So I think he could have maybe blocked the LOS a bit better. Um. <laughs> yeah, so... He went for the blitz, blitz there. He bl bl blitz on there with tackle, and also it meant he could get these two guys into block there. So I like this from Orialensis, just maximizing blocks, basically. Um, it did, of course, leave a 1D on, but he just needs to bring in a guy here to stop that. Um, I think I would have probably dodged this one away first, or moved a player here first. I guess that works. So yeah, move the play there. I would have probably moved him there first, then moved him two away, just so you know, make sure you have the stop and the assist, because obviously you don't want an assisted two dice block with mighty blow, do you? Um, the blitz here, and and then conversely, if I was if I was Vulpes, I would have put the guard in here, blitz this guy, and then blocked him. Um, yeah. So, you know, again, just maximize two Ds. Though a tackle hit on a dancer is, is hard to pass up, isn't it? So that's perfectly understandable to do that. Um, but yeah, I would, I would have fully blitzed this guy. See, I think maybe Zorianus could have had two players so that if the guard was put in, he would have um, he would have got a block back. So maybe these two could have been there and there. Um, but yeah, he does the 1D. And gets a cast. <laughs> Dirty dog. Um, yes, I guess you could argue that yes, the catcher should be the one exposed to a blitz. Um, and then that Kaz there, I thought maybe, maybe, in obviously full recovery, um, solid cage. I think this may now, Orleans just draws back from this ball threatening and, uh, and just screens up. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think this is a... He's probably going to blitz the Mighty Blow with Wrestle, so I'm both down, he's safe. I wanted to blitz him behind. Uh, yes, there could have been the option of going here and uh, and blitzing there and doing a further block. The problem being is if you got pushers on both, he would have still been in contact. But that could have been an idea. Um, just trying to offer some alternatives here, of course. You know, it's not saying anybody did anything wrong. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the problem that Volpes has now is trying to get forward, isn't it? And I, I this blitz saving this guy from being based is all right. Um, it's only turn three, doesn't have to get forward yet, but obviously he has to get forward um, at some point uh, because Wood Elves screening they've got so many dodge players they don't actually have that many he doesn't have as many dodge players as, as what else normally do there's only four dodge players here for Oriolensis uh, my Wood Elf team has seven dodge players so um, he can't screen as effectively um, yeah 
Yeah, so yeah, because the guards because he had the guard on each side, yeah, exactly. That's that's obviously dissuading a ward answer leap sack attempt. So the natural thing is to elf screen. Yes, yeah, and also, yeah, it's called Power Apple, but the tree is the icon. He doesn't have the tree, which normally would he do, and he has an apple instead of the tree. But, I mean, that's that's fair enough, isn't it? So, yeah, hard screen here. Um, there's really not much. Um, I would have liked the 3D the 3D Blitz from the Ogre here, personally, rather than the, uh, the non-Mighty Blow Blitz. It would have broken armor as well. But then, I believe... We have a bonehead, so he wouldn't have just—he just wouldn't have been able to blitz with him. So <laughs> there is that. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've, maybe I would have blitzed this guy or something. Or maybe this one would have been better. Um, obviously, it sucks not having the ogre because the ogre is the one player that you can jam in to to get headway, isn't it? Um, if you base with strength three players, they're just going to get knocked over um, a lot of the time. So you don't really want to base. You don't want to base up with strength four players to try and progress against elves. So really want that ogre to uh, work and get him jammed in to make some progress forward, I think. Could Kate and assist to 3D the catcher? I don't know if it's worth the commitment. Could maybe 2D him first, then 3D him if it's not a knockdown. I don't know. Draws for a push. So now he's not going to go for the 3D, he's just going to go for the 2 and then bring in the other one for another 2. A little bit risky in that if it's a push he'll still be in contact. But then on the other hand at least he'll be uh, occupying the guard player. Gets the pal. And yeah this isn't looking grey is it? There was, a, there was a chance here, let's pause it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's a GFI there. And then could have blitzed this guy, powered him. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even make a break. So ignore that. I thought that might have made, made a crack. There's no way to crack the screen. So just got a blitz. And now it's turn five. Now it's getting on, isn't it? So yeah, I didn't like the I didn't like the ogre over here. I, I would have rather have the ogre in the middle. I think. Um, there was a block here, was there? Or did it blitz him into a block? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So it keeps a bit of a Venger bus there. Takes the boat down. Ah, oh, should have boat down on all balls. But yeah, there's no, there's no penetration, is there, from Volpe's here? Turn five, it still hasn't crossed the halfway line. So there's going to be a one D on the over at the end of the turn, and. Uh, just a lot, another turn of screening. Tackle on the catcher again. Unfortunately, not armor seven. I think you get kind of used to trying to pick off catchers. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that Orleans was only blitzing because he was armor seven, but you know, it's one of the things that you do, isn't it? The way you uh, you kind of, if you're used to them being armor seven, you always you always blitz them if you can. Um, Whereas I, I do believe that was just a positional blitz, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so it doesn't follow there, so it does free the guard to get back in. Cheeky one dice pal into removal, that never happens. <laughs> There's the KO. <laughs> and the apple comes out for Vulpes there. And yeah, you know, this is tough, isn't it? They're both players of both teams have lost a player. That stun takes him out the drive, essentially. Um and yeah, he is still a high value target. It's just that he's not. Doesn't. Now this this player here, the player here, was to stick the guard in there, blitz from this direction, chain out there, and if you pow him, then that means you've got the route to get up here. So I think this was this was the this was the play for Vulpes here. Um, yeah, pause it. Yeah, this was the play. The guard was there. Stick him in here. Then you've got your block of four players for a chain, blitz from here, pow, chain out. And then there's a wide open path, no dodges to be made, and the whole team movement six only, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Ball could have geified and could have had a cage up here. Um, it still wouldn't have been fantastic, 
because you know Orleans would have still been able to move everyone across um, <laughs> it, w it wouldn't have been fantastic but it would have been better than not doing it because <laughs> he did blitz with that guy from that angle and did get the pal so if the guard had been in here he would have been chained off and um, and could have got forward um, but as it was you know you don't want to risk 3 plus dodges do you without dodge maybe could have dodged the catches through here um, it would have been hard to actually make the cage as well without without at least one of them but could have maybe gone for the catcher to get forward to have two players um, yep the dub skull yeah yeah the dub skull shot that idea yeah exactly yeah um, so yeah maybe he could have dodged a catcher through afterwards though um, to at least get someone forward because obviously Orleans is going to play it safe here um, and just block this guy and blitz this one and that's going to make it really really hard for Volpe's to get through <laughs> what he does yeah push is the best choice there I think and a cheeky power and now it's uh, <laughs> another AV break that's a brutal couple of stuns especially with that other one but now it's like this is just really incredibly difficult breakthrough and so now my play here um, turns out my play here would have been to wait for this fucking turn seven to get away. There we go. Would have blitzed this guy, and then the catchers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, you can get forward with both catchers and have a cage around here or something, and then have two scoring threats. I think that was, I think that was what I think is the best play um, to have the catchers there. So at least, at least Ori Lenses has to think about the chance. Um, yeah, this this drive was very hard. Yeah, this drive was very hard, um, but instead turtled up, um, which you know is fair enough. It's fair enough. It's a good shout to give up on the score here. I, like I don't hate just giving up on the score in this situation because you think, all right, you know, it's gone badly, um, being being out removed essentially because of the uh, KO that he had to Apo and all these stuns. He hasn't gained any forward traction. If he goes risky, then. Um, then he's likely to be turned over and give up the score. You know, that's a lot of the, a lot of the times versus elves. You try it something a bit risky, you get punished with a defensive score. But by not having those two catchers up, um, you know, they only have to be three squares in to have a chance. Because those catchers aren't up, now Orleans has no fear. And he is, he is two turns, he's going balled out for the score, isn't he? There's no, there's no doubt that Orleans is going for the score now. So that's what I didn't like about this turtling. Um, and of course, he has got the guard in front. But Orleans can just go around the back, get the 1D, get the POW, and put it there. I would have thought if I was Orleans about putting players in to make the catchers harder, particularly for the catcher. Um, but of course, if you do that, then you've got less players to react afterwards. So there's certainly a, an element of, uh, you know, but there's ups and downsides to doing that. But I would have definitely at least put this line, you know, at least put someone else in the catcher there first, probably. But now he does have more players to react. There is the in the tackle tackle zone, which makes the, the everything riskier. So he goes for the handoff. Um, as a better failure state if he fails it, and even if he didn't have tackle, it's still a better failure state than failing the dodge. Um, use the team reroll, fails the handoff, but um, you know, still obviously in a very thanks to another stun in a very very strong position. I guess this side step is for a one, better one turn chance, isn't it? But. Uh, uh, that's some, that's something actually that uh, Tarabara doesn't fumble. Now this this I didn't like this move here. We'll see here. Volpe's come in there. I would have liked a uh, a movement to here, and then he could have blocked with the catch. No, sorry, a GFI to here. This is what I like. The, the like because he's guard. I like the GFI to there. So then he could have two deed with a catcher, which would have freed up the blitzer, um, and then the blitzer could have two deed blitzed the uh, dancer there. Um, and then got the ball in like kind of a cage. So I think that was the play there, maybe. Um, it's what I liked, certainly. But he does have two catches that can dodge away, so. And then he ran out of time, didn't he? Ran out of time, which was awful to run out of time there, because this is just 
a simple 2D on the ball with strip. So yeah, that was a that was a nightmare nightmare scenario. Orenses does follow, which r runs the risk of catching it. But um, I thought he might have gone for a scatter, but um, just goes for the four plus, which is fine, obviously. And he's not taking a beating at all. Come on. <laughs> Um, and then yeah he had this he had this he had this catcher there so that's it 1-0 pretty much perfect perfect half from the woodies wasn't it really screened um, screen screen screened humans gave up he did two no damage actually outbashed outbashed the humans while screening is obviously dream scenario um, and then the humans gave up was allowed to tee off and, uh, and to the tutty so now it's a nightmare Nightmare for uh, nightmare for Volpe's now. He has to uh, he has to somehow defend long and short, doesn't he? Um, or Lensis. He's got to, he's got to defend against the quick score, and um, he's got to you know he's got to protect against both. So this is the nightmare. Or Lensis knows if he scores any time in this half, he's probably won. So you know it's it's really really tough for uh, Volpe's now. And pretty easy for Oriolensis as well. <laughs> this is why I like to kick. Uh, thank you very much, Krakatoa Kid, for the bits. Um, this is why I like to kick with Woodies, because now the pressure's off on his offense completely. And, you know, there's, there's times if you receive as Woodies, there's times where you, like, you know, maybe you don't score because you're trying to stall to turn eight. Well, now Oriolensis knows he doesn't have to score, stall to turn eight. He can score any time in the half. And it's really hard for Volpes to defend, because Volpes has to defend against the quick score as well. So, yeah. There you go. So, let's see what happens. Uh, caught the kick, didn't he? Which is quite good. Make some blocks. <laughs> Cass. <laughs> and the KO stayed out, didn't it? The mighty blow stayed out. And there's Cass. So straight away, Volby's down to 10 players. And defense, which is um, pretty, pretty terrible, being not bashed by wood. Well, not equal bash in terms of ten, ten aside, but um, you know he had a reserve, so effectively out bashed. Well, it is out bashed as well, isn't it? Kaz and Kale versus Kaz, so it is, in all senses, out bashed by wood elves <laughs> without a tree. I didn't really like this particularly from Orinensis. I would have maybe liked to have the catcher in front there because if I was Volpe's, I would, wouldn't have minded the blitz and base the ball here with an ogre. Hard to deal with, isn't it? Um, maybe blitz this catcher. I don't know. I, I, this is a pretty tough turn to... to know what to do. Yeah, blitz is him. That's fair. That's fair. Three dice with tackle. Pretty good. He's, he's in scoring range, isn't he? So that's, a, that's definitely a good threat to take out. And then fouls him and said the foul was a mistake. Said the foul was a mistake there. And gets punished. <laughs> so that's just horrible. Now he's fully outbashed with that. Yeah, misclick. So that is brutal, isn't it? That is a brutal misclick. So now, fully outbashed. Two players down. Um, well, nine players on the pitch. One player down overall. And now it's just, just a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Um, Orleans has chosen to get forward a little bit here. Um, obviously not bad to get forward a bit. But... Um, it's a bit exposed, isn't it? You know, that's, that's getting your dancer tackle blitzed here. So... Bit of... Bit of Bit of controversy, uh, maybe you know, maybe didn't need to, uh, didn't, maybe didn't need to uh, to go make this play here. The Orleans has made, but he's made it. Um, he does tag the tackler there, so that makes life a lot better for his war dancer. And he, the dancer is in scoring range, isn't he? This is the thing; he's in it, so he's just a two plus away from getting the tutty. So that's that's fine. I don't think it was worth going for the dodge tackle blitz on the dancer, but maybe he could have done, you know, maybe he could have done. I guess it was an option. 
I guess it was an option. But he just hits the guy who's in front of him. I know you could argue maybe that uh, that Volpe should have screened the tackler, I guess. You could argue that, maybe. Maybe that would have been better to have screened him. So he couldn't have been based. Um, gets, the, gets the KO, but the power apple comes out. Guard in. Smash a guy. He's just going to tag this dancer or something, or stand in the way. Could have tagged. Don't know if it's better or not. Um, and then blitzes him. And tags the ball. Ah, but with two more assists. Uh, only one more. Oh, so equal assist because he's there. Yeah, okay. This is better because it stops him getting a 2 plus out. So yeah, that's that's a better square to stand, I believe. That's a, a stun not too relevant. He does have enough players for a 2D on their Olga though, doesn't he? So... He gets the he gets the 2D, just needs a push. And then he can hand off and blitz with the tackle. He goes in here, hands off, rolls a one, and now he's out of re-rolls. And then I think he changes. I think the plan was to hand off and blitz, right? I think that was the plan, to hand off, blitz, and skull. But he's used his re-roll and he runs back. So I don't know. This would be interesting here if Orelens is still around, if he did change tactics here. And then, uh, yeah, and then he ran all these around and he just, yeah, change of plan. Yeah, it did look like it. Um... <laughs> no mercy in it. Yeah. So there's obviously the chance of the the chance of the surf, but uh got a power straight away. Would it would it have even been dubs as well? Wow. Um But yeah, that's uh I mean that's absolutely fair to do that, isn't it, of course. That not from the real thing, fuck this. And I like that, I like that a lot more than Inarians. Forcing early scores, you know. Um. <laughs> All right, yeah, just played football before, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and even a one in nine would have would have made, made the score harder, and then another one in thirty six to get back, um, and then this way I would have actually liked the follow up here. The follow up would have made a dodge away rather than a GFI. Um, and moves these two, so he's at least he's got the small screen. And now he can make now oh, these aren't tackle dodges, so making all the other moves. So yeah, I quite like this screen, but yeah, maybe should have moved this, made the screen first as well as an option. Um, so there's a few, or at least the catcher could have moved first. Safe moves first. Um, could have been a thing, and then finally makes a dodge here. Rolls a one. Oh, makes the second one. All right, so now it's pretty safe, actually. Thought that was going to be a failure there. <laughs> Thought that was going to be a failure. This one is a failure. But this is still pretty safe, isn't it? Um, and now, Volpe's pretty much only chance is the four plus dodging, isn't it? Really. I think the catcher can come round, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. Oof. It's horrible. I don't know if that's worth it or not. I don't know if that's worth to try and get the catcher around the back to make it 2D. Maybe. Don't know. Yeah, horrible, horrible one in nine there. Yeah, but now without the re-roll, don't want to go for it. Yeah, and, do and pop dodge as well. Fails to dodge in. So now, Orelensis could have stalled here. This would this was this was a fine chance to stall, I think. Um, got a 2D here to free up another player. You know, got got these guys that can all dodge away. So I, I wouldn't have I, I would have, wouldn't have hated stalling here at all. I think I would have definitely tried to stall here. Um, but Orelensis just takes the tuddy, which is fair enough. Um, puts him 2 0 up and only like four turns left or whatever. So it's almost, almost certain win anyway, isn't it? Um, taking the touchdown there. But def I mean, I think the stall was definitely possible. Um, but scoring definitely wasn't bad. 
So yeah, that's pretty much over. Volpe's needs to one turn or two turn. Probably needs to one turn here. I would probably, I think I like setting up for the one turn attempt here um, because there's no back line, is there? So I think actually setting up for the one turn here was the play and trying to get the one turn. But then the riot, um, yeah, it gets the riot. <laughs> so now the two turn um, is looking a lot more likely. A little pass and catch with edge three, fantastic. Yep, that's absolutely fair, Royal Ensis. Absolutely fair. Just just take the take the touchdown and and the almost certain win. But that's the thing, isn't it? It's not. It's not. Who knows? Apart from the Blood Bowl supercomputer, whether it's better to score or stall there. But yeah, two 0 against humans is pretty much a guarantee. Absolutely, yeah. And yeah, the ogre has been awful. <laughs> But he makes a bit of a cage here. Uh, tags the tackler again. And a nice couple of GFIs to make it a proper cage. And this should be a two turn touchdown, shouldn't it, for Volpe's here? Should be. Uh, so, you know, here it's interesting, isn't it? Because you could just blitz this guy and, and kind of uh, I'll block him, blitz one of these and screen it. But um, Oriolensis decides to go for the leap 1D. Or the stripper, I guess. Yeah. Fails the leap doesn't re-roll it um, and of course there's no way Vulpes wants to stall <laughs> so he's just gonna have to uh, blitz this guy or block him and uh, oh yeah, just put the card in and block him what could the humans do against the screen oh, I don't know I mean they, you know they might have been able to make the dodges I, I, you could have made a decent screen here I think one two three four five six seven could have probably made a decent screen. It might not have been enough, though. That's the thing, is it? Because they can roll the dodges. Um, yeah, going for removals first is fine. Um, obviously, likely to need the two re-rolls to turn over. But they're only one in 36 blocks, aren't they? So, absolutely fair to go for them. Certainly. That's the power on him as well. And now, there's a chance, there's a chance for Volpe's. Two re-rolls and three turns to uh, get the turnover for the draw. And that stays out, so I think it's nine versus nine, is it? Or ten, ten versus nine. He's got a, he's got a man advantage. There is a chance, yeah. You're telling me there's a chance. This is not live, no Von Connor. This is the the replay analysis of it. it was it last night? This game. There's a quick snap. Now it's interesting because obviously he's getting it on the blodger. Tackler still out to hit things. Um. So it's going to be really hard for Volpe's because he's got to try and get the pressure on, and it's just it's just really hard, isn't it? But he's got a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. Yeah, put the guy in front of the ogre to limit limit his mobility. Oh yes, I remember he makes the uh, <laughs> he makes a he makes a cage here. Yeah, there's like a little upside down T. <laughs> and 
And yeah, that's, that's fine, isn't it? Some players with a ball, some players upfield. Volpe's doesn't really want the uh, players upfield to be able to uh, score again. It was a penis, yes. And then, but then he put this on, which made it uh, not not a penis. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he needs he needs to base up the elves, doesn't he? There are uh, scoring kind of threats or whatever outlets, and close down the cage sometime somehow. But it's um, it's not easy, not easy at all. It does a one D here. Probably should have uh, done that with Mighty Blow somewhere. Maybe just Mighty Blowed him and then kept the tackle back somehow. I don't know. There is the dodge out here. I don't like leaving this 2 plus dodge out there. Maybe he's going to put a guard on there or something. Or just a mighty blow there. Um, cheeky tackle blitz. And he can make a full cage can and everything. It's like... It's horrible. Horrible wood elves, aren't they? Look at this. Movement 8. Disgusting. Disgusting movement 8. Woody's gets a full cage. And, uh, and then can try dodges and blocks and stuff, can't he? You know, Vulpes has got the catcher here. This catcher here is in a good spot, isn't he? He can, he can score um, if things go well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Wood Elves, pretty good. He's got a cheeky scoring threat as well of his own. So I, I, li I like I like that catcher there. I like having the catcher there. Maybe I would have had the catcher out wider and uh, the guard nearer the middle. But um, I guess you swarm the cage now, right? Swarm the cage and either blitz down him or blitz into the cage. Oh, the ogre. The ogre blitz and base the ball. Yes. The Olga Blitz is the play now, isn't it? Oh, he moved back with him. That's fair enough, getting away. And then he became the scoring threat. So that's absolutely fine. Olga Blitz, base the ball. <laughs> Fantastic. And a removal. So like double ones are going to uh, wreck Oriolensis here, aren't they, pretty much? Yeah, I quite like that as well. <laughs> there was a one. <laughs> and there's a one in nine. And there's another one in nine. Wow. Yeah, I think maybe he's based more rather than this screen. I think I think maybe, maybe he would have thrown more at the cage rather than screening. Especially as your plan was to base there with the ogre. Um... But rolled some two pluses. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, if elves roll two pluses, they're pretty good. But there, and there is a chance now, but with him only having the one, the only one behind enemy lines is the only scoring threat. So has to go for just a one D on the ball here with a, without tackle. So need the cheeky six. And gets it. Dirty dog. And, uh, yeah, maybe could have followed to make the catches harder. Um, obviously, you don't want to catch it yourself. But maybe he's following to make the catches harder might have been an idea. Maybe blocking here and bringing in somebody first um, to make the catches harder would have been an idea. Obviously, there's a chance of you catching the scatter yourself. But I think making the catcher harder for elves is, is often pretty good. Goes for the dodge in. He had dodge for the dodge in. Fails six plus pick up. But I think that was definitely the right play. Dodge in with a catcher with a natural dodge. And try to get the other one. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair as well. This brutal dude. Yeah, so there you go. So it was, I thought it was a very good game. And I thought both played well. Um, but, yeah, there you go. It is what it is, isn't it? Uh, congrats to Oriolensis. Commiserations to Vulpes and Coulter. Um... You know, about 30-odd blocks. And, you know, pretty pretty even in terms of removals and stuff. 
and oh, I, don't, I don't have all the dice, but uh, it doesn't look very good dice for the humans there, does it? Uh, the the ogre was pretty terrible, but um, there, so there you go. That was the, that was the first NAF tournament that we did uh, a weekend a weekender, and it was quite enjoyable. Everyone enjoyed it, I think. Yeah, the mighty boss spent all game KO'd. Yeah, that did not help, did it? I mean, so yeah, so that's the thing. And you look at KOs and cars. That 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 KO was a cars, wasn't it? Really, and it was it, it was really really quick. Um, so there you go. So I'll put the links for the NAF there, and we'll we'll be having tournaments uh, on a regular basis. And uh, there's the NAF ladder as well for like just random pickup games of NAF style. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.